grace body. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this day, for this morning. We have gathered in your presence, Lord, to listen to your word. As we, as we listen, our minds are being renewed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for teaching us the authority that is given to a believer. Who are we influenced? We are the children of God. We have authority. We were created in the likeness and image of God to have dominion. God has given us the dominion over other living things, our situation, our circumstance. We have the authority to speak to the mountains. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. This authority is not to show our authority upon other human, but this authority is used to destroy the works of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let us see today in depth regarding this authority. Actually, where is this authority? How we got, how to establish the believer's authority in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we take control over the session, not of me, all of you. Thank you, Lord. We have the spirit of the knowledge, the wisdom upon us. The spirit of God is guiding us into the truth, and the truth has set us free in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. One second. Thank you, Jesus. Marita, you can go to Ephesians chapter 1, 19 to 21. Ephesians chapter 1, 19 to 21. Praise God. And what, what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which is which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at the right hand in the heavenly places far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is made not only in this world but also in that which is to come. Thank you, Lord Jesus. all principalities and powers and might and and every name that is made not only in this world but also in that which is to come. gave him to be the head over all things church. Praise God. Paul was, uh, this is written by Paul. And uh, to explain to us the exceeding greatness of God's power towards us. That is God's power for us, in us, for the benefit of us. When we accepted Christ as the Lord, God, and Savior, we are anointed. We are anointed with the Holy Spirit. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. We have the power in us, whose power, God's power in us. Only some of them are able to understand that God's power is in us and those who believe 
they are able to establish that power. In Jesus' name, I command your sickness go. I command the internet's organs to function. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any malfunction in the body. As we are speaking those, those words with confidence, it is not my confidence in my flesh. It is the confidence in who? In Jesus Christ who is dwelling inside me. We all listen. We all, most of us are listening to the teachings. But only few of them are applying the principles that are given in the gospel. There is power in God's word. Unless we believe, we cannot see God's manifestation. We need to believe. Believe is the action corresponding to the message. If I really believe, I will lay hands on the sick. There is nothing known as compromising. There is nothing known as what happens if it doesn't happen. No, when we are strong, when we believe, we know that God's power is in us. The power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. We have the raising from the dead power on the inside of us. We just need to realize it's there and learn how to use it. We, 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 our tendency is that we forget our true identity in Christ. Most of the time we forget that the power is there in us. Papa used to give this example, no? When, uh, the current EB department has generated electricity. We are receiving the electricity power in each and everyone's house. If I'm not putting on the switch and I'm saying there is no current, there is no power supply. Uh, what, what the electric, uh, electric board department said is false, it is not true. If I'm not putting the switch on, I cannot see the manifestation of that power. In the same way, God is the source. God has already released his power. And those who believe, when Jesus Christ said it is finished, means he took a sickness, everything, and he paid the price. He paid the price and our own nation is crucified. When he rose again from the dead, he was full of power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. And Jesus Christ said these words, wait till you receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is power. Gift of tongues is power. Wait, don't go anywhere. Don't say that I was there with you for 40 days. God, when he resurrected from the dead for 40 days, for 50 days he spent 40 days, he spent the days with the disciples. He showed them himself. He showed his glorified body. It is not a spirit, it is a glorified body. God showed him, showed them, and said them to wait till you receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the power. On the 50th day when they received, they were not the same for people. We can see a great transformation in Peter without any training, without any thought, but he can be so strong enough proclaiming God's word before the before all the people. And those who hear were, were astonished to look at the way he preached. And he would have just said to the Pharisees, and you, you, you who this Christ who raised, who was raised from the dead, he gave, he spoke with authority to the Pharisees and said, You are the one who killed Jesus Christ. So bold, so guts. Do not say what will happen, what are the consequences we need to face if we speak any truth, nothing. The power gave them the ability to deny themselves and allow Christ to live. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. God's power is so great, so great. And that's so that power is in us. Can you believe we have that same power? 
and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who are who believe that greatness of power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at the right hand in heavenly places for above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in which to come exceeding greatness of his power to us us who are to believe we need to believe only to those who believe they can feel if you say if you if you doubt opposite to believe is the doubt reasoning questioning if i'm having reasoning if i'm doubting i'm double minded i cannot see any good things from the god if i'm double minded if it is said if it is said means said i'm not going to have any second thought believe wholeheartedly so how can we how can we remain in that presence of god john chapter 15 4 5 later john chapter 15 4 5 only through word without word if you say if you say that i'm sitting and just praying god praising for thanking god thank you jesus for filling me and if i'm not being rooted in the word we can't see god's manifestation in our life mesa john chapter 15 4 5 john chapter 15 4 and 5 Yeah, I'm sure. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Mehta, you are there? Yes, I'm asking. Scripture. Okay. John chapter 15, 4-5. John 15 and 5. 15 verse 4 and 5. One second, just play in tongues. I'll come. I'll come with you. Pura kalara bara gani gade 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 sabre shishile gade gade. Ye re ko tu no ko no ko no ko tas sabre 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 sabre. Ye kalara re gade 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 sabre shishile gade gade. Ko no ko no ko no ko no ko tas sabre 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 sabre. ಪುರುಷ <laughs> 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. John chapter fifteen, four five. Yes, ma'am. Abide in me. We saw that power. The same power is in us. Okay, let us see how to how to how to release that power. How to know that that the power is in us. Abide, these are the words of Jesus Christ. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can you, except you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branch. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abide, abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much more, much fruit. For without me, you cannot do nothing. We cannot do anything. If a man, if a man abideth not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and it is withered, and men gather them, cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Let's go. We need to abide in Him. What does that to be abide in? What the meaning of abide is? To remain, to stay, to dwell. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. God, He, God is the Word. Jesus Christ is the word. Word itself is Jesus Christ. If it is said to be abide in Christ means to abide, to, to meditate on the promises of God, to remain, to stay, to dwell, abide. The meaning is to remain, to stay, to dwell. Our focus is on Christ through the promises. It, um, when we see, when we take a uh, the fruit, because the fruit is born on the branch and the credit, it is easy to credit the branch with the fruit. But when you see the vine that draws the life from the earth and brings the life to the channel, to the branch, and then that is how the fruits are produced. There is a vine that is so without the true wine, without Jesus Christ, we cannot, we cannot establish the fruits, the fruits of the spirit. The branch need to be joined to the wine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Since we are the branches through which the life of God flows, we sometimes think that it is our own holiness that produces the fruit. Many a times we used to depend upon our performance. We have this mindset that I need to pray. I need to read the, it is, it becomes like a ritual. It becomes like a duty. If only I do this, I can see God's presence. It is depending upon my performance. Most of the time our mindset is a performance. If we think like that, 
we are not relying we are not trusting in we are not we are, we are not keeping our trust upon god when a person is performance mindset when a person has this performance mentality thinking that uh, because he is doing certain things that is why he can the fruits of the spirits are revealed means it's not like that it is not me at all it is not me when we submit ourselves when we surrender ourselves when we deny ourselves means putting myself to that lord i cannot i cannot do anything without you i need you lord jesus with my performance i cannot do anything it seems but most of the time even being a believer even after receiving christ most of the time it is based on performance but it is not on performance it is that understanding it is the knowledge it is not me it is holy spirit is dwelling in me the fruits of the spirit will be reflected then when my soul is renewed when my focus when i'm spiritually minded i can see the fruits being established galatians chapter 5:22 fruits of the spirits are being established when i know when i renew my mind when i am spiritually minded if we become performance mindset means we are allowing pride to take control over us when pride is there when i say that i am doing every day i get up morning every day i'm listening to the teachings every day i'm confessing every day i'm going out and reaching out if i say i i i i i means it is my performance mentality if that mindset is there the fruits of the spirit cannot be established the fruits of the spirit are love joy peace yeah when pride is there pride becomes an hindrance for the fruits to be established so no one can boast himself that he because of his performance is doing greater things no no uh, the fruits are love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith these are the fruits these fruits will be established only when the person is humble when he understands that he abides in Christ God abides in him and he abides in him if he, if he if he shifts his mindset from spiritual to carnal if he thinks it is his performance it is his duty it is he who is doing all things is away from god we cannot see the fruits of the spirit establishing in him we might have experiences most of the time in our life love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law without christ we cannot establish this fruit uh, 1 corinthians chapter 13 if you have everything but if you don't have love if you have everything but you don't have love if you don't understand the christ and though 132 and though i have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and the knowledge and though i have all faith so that i could remove mountains and have not charity might i can put comparison charity word will come love i think it is in amplified the god charity love will be the amplified okay if i give all possessions to feed the poor and if i surrender my body to be burned but do not have love it doesn't and uh, you can remove comparison just put amplified from 2 on with amplified okay amplified class with them if uh and if i have the gift of prophecy and speak a new message from god to the people and understand all mysteries and possess all knowledge and if i have all so, uh, sufficient faith so that i can remove mountains but do not have have love reaching out to others if i do not have love if not reaching out to others if i am self centered if i am in pride i am nothing 
if I give all possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, I can give my body also as a sacrifice. But do not have love. It doesn't mean good to good at all. It just doesn't mean good at all. That love is God Himself. If I abide in that love. If I realize that it is not my performance, it is absolutely God's grace, it's God's power, it's God who's dwelling in me. When I use his name, I can see that anointing from sometimes when we are rooted in the word pride, it, it is very subtle. We don't know that pride is taking control over us. Sometimes it happens thinking that I am good, I am perfect, I am Mrs. Perfect. At that time, when I allow pride, I am away from God's love. When self comes, thinking about myself higher, we never consider about others. Whatever we do, it is for, the, for to glorify my name. Others should say my name, Other, even good things. It is not said you are murderer, killing nothing. Everything when you see it. Even if you prophecy, understand the mystery, mysteries, have the knowledge, have faith to know one thing. You, you also give your positions to God. You're also ready to sacrifice everything. But do not have love. If you do not have love, if you do not have Christ in you, if you are not abiding in Christ, if your self is being established, if your self is being enlightened, you are nothing. We are nothing. That is why the branch, yes, I am the vine. You are the branch. Those who remain in me, I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you cannot do nothing. You can see the word nothing? Praise God. I am nothing. You cannot do nothing. Without Christ, without that love, we can't do nothing. Said we can do nothing. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. That life, God's word is life. God's word is spirit. Yes, I'm born again. I have the spirit, Holy Spirit, abide in me. But I need to meditate on the promises. Always being humble. Even if I see greater miracles greater signs and wonders being performed when I use Jesus' name. Never should I allow pride to take control over me. Pride is a deadly poison that can destroy a person without the person's knowledge. This happens for the ministry leaders. Many a times it happens to the ministry leaders. Pride is an enemy. That is why I should be very conscious who am I and who am I Whose power is this? It is Christ's power. I'm just a weapon. I'm just a vessel being used in God's kingdom. Like uh, Papa Papa used to say, pizza box. We are just a pizza box. When the pizza is there, the box has, when the pizza is not there, the box is thrown into the dust. I'm just a weapon carrying Christ's love carrying God's love, those who are in need, those who are in lack, releasing the anointing of, uh, of God, using his name, healing the sick. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Set the captives free, sight to the blind, leprosy healed, all type of infirmity, sickness, set free when we say in Jesus name and I'm using that authority it's not my power it's the power in that word in name of Jesus this also when he went to minister and Papa went to minister to a house a girl who was possessed just went inside and shut the door and after a few times she came back and she started to say you're so powerful at that time Papa has this revelation. Holy Spirit reminding him, don't accept that it is your power, it is God. And that time he said, it is a trap for the, to, to Papa to be attacked, but 
it was a revelation knowledge it was at that time holy spirit reminding it is not my power i am not powerful god in me is powerful the one who abides in me is powerful thank you jesus thank you father thank you holy spirit the branch cannot produce fruit by itself likewise the power to heal is not us it comes from god real results comes only through a relationship with god thank you jesus thank you father this relationship come this uh, the result god's manifestation what's the main thing you can see when you have a greater relationship with god like a father child relationship god is my everything spending a lonely time with god when we see in life of jesus he used to spend the lonely time with god in the night times when paul before starting his ministry it is also said for 3 years is he, he was separated he, he was in he was alone spending time with god he had time that he spent with god he had times to be prayed in tongues uh 1 corinthians chapter 14 14 right up 14 14 18 14 18 corinthians chapter 14 18 where paul used to say that he is the one who spent more time more time in meditating god's promises right while we do this 1418 i i thank my god i speak with tongues more than you all this this is a statement given in 1 corinthians 1418 that I thank my God I speak in tongues more than you all 1418 on Corinthians 1418 which was no sins shooting my that chapter 14 was 18 1 Corinthians chapter 14 was 18 Um, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all, because in the statement, when uh, when you read fourteen, then if you are not fruitful, if you are not, uh, it is said about speaking in tongues, and. Uh, where paul used to give the statement that you need to pray in tongues but when you come to public when you are giving a message that is the time you need to give a message and of course not supposed to pray in tongues in front of others and the i got those statements used to come so others say that paul is not giving importance to tongues it is not like that that is why paul used to give the statement that more than anyone i spent more time praying in tongues yes praying in tongues will change a transform a person's life it is a spiritual language it is the connection when we said when those who have the relationship with god they can see the god's manifestation being re- released they can see they can, they rely upon god god upon god upon them they depend upon god the branch the branch connected with the vine without the vine the branch cannot yield the fruit so when i pray in tongues it is a relationship with god spending my lonely time with god and i pray in tongues i can see what's manifestation in my life thank you jesus thank you father private prayer life most important in our life to spend at least one hour a day it is not as a ritual don't make it as a law it should come from heart when we pray in tongues taking one scripture and meditating on one scripture in that mind at the same time praying in tongues 
God will give us the deeper knowledge, the deeper revelation of that scripture. When I'm reading Bible and I'm cooking food, whatever I'm working, it is not that I need to go sit down in a place and then pray in tongues. No, when I'm doing a work, I can spend my time praying in tongues. Speaking in tongues is very powerful gift. And that when we pray in tongues, we can see God's our focus is upon Christ alone. When our focus is upon Christ alone, I can see the word becoming flesh, the life flowing through the vine through branches and yielding fruit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. This is how I need to spend my time. This is how I can have the relationship with God. Next one. Um, Hebrews chapter 13, 5. Hebrews 13, 5. Repeat as Hebrews thirteen five. Amplified classically. Let your character, uh, Hebrews 13, 5, amplified process. Let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money, including greed, avarice, lust, craving for earthly position. Everything comes under pride. Okay, I just want to say we should not have pride. We need to be humble. Uh, let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money, including greed, avarice, lust, craving for earthly possessions, and be satisfied with your present circumstance and with what you have. For he, God himself, said, has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will, I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, let you down, relax my, relax my hold on you. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. When we allow pride, what happens is that we tend to give importance to our our ability, our financial background, our money, my position. Most of the time we depend, we say that we depend on God, we trust in God, we abide in God. I'm a true, I'm a branch that abides the vine. I am I'm I'm with Christ, but I'm speaking reality. Most of the time our trust is upon our performance, upon our uh, on our position in company, our position, our job, our work, our money, our bank balance, my security. We say we depend upon God, but most of the time we are putting our trust upon worldly things, love of money, creed. That is why God is saying, Whatever might be the circumstance, whatever might be the situation, which place you are, which moment you are, any moment, any place, even if people come against you, if your own family is against you, even you are in the darkest place, your life seems to be that. Don't forget what I am with you. I am in you. In any times, I will not leave you. I am there with you. I am abiding in you. 
you are not helpless i will not forsake you or i will not let you down no matter what happens believers are never on their own god is committed to us this understanding it is not my self effort it is not my performance it is not me even when the situation seems to be very dark even nothing is happening i'm believing and trusting for this to happen it seems to be nothing is happening i should not go into worry mode i need not go to depression one pride at two times one is saying that i had performed the other one is saying that i'm shy anything that is self whether it is self exaltation or uh, or inferiority complex putting yourself down anything if it is if 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 i am thinking be greater about myself is also pride thinking having a low standard of myself is also pride when self comes it is pride that is why god is telling that don't depend upon yourself don't depend upon your performance don't depend upon your riches don't depend upon the money that you have don't depend upon the job that you have don't depend upon the position that you have don't depend on your flesh don't have this mindset that i'm all alone i'm left alone i'm clearly saying and be satisfied with your with your present circumstances with what you have for he god himself has said i will not in any way fail you nor give you up nor leave you without support this attitude should be there this is known as trusting god this is what happened to shadrach meshach abednego when they were thrown into fiery into the fire they 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 did not complain they did not grumble they did not say even if you put us in fire even if god is this does not come to rescue us my trust is in god only that is known as trust no matter if i'm seeing the result or not i'm longing for this healing for a long period i'm confessing the scripture i'm using that authority but this time not able to see the performance means god is not true or god is not, the, the word is not true for me no it is clear god is there god is there with us in all circumstances in all situation that is the time i need to be confident and courage when i'm confident and courage the words that i spoke with authority is powerful without doubting when i release the faithful words i can see god's manifestation in my life no matter what the circumstances circumstances is sorry circumstances circum whatever might be the circum circumstances is praise god thank you jesus thank you father thank you for the spirit this clearly shows us it is not my power it is not my talent it is not my performance it is truly the power in the word of god the power in me my born again spirit which is united with the holy spirit no matter what happens believers are never on their own god is committed to us as i said electricity board thank you jesus thank you father thank you holy spirit god gave us this power to use but we but we must take responsibility for flipping the switch when we saw we had exceedingly abundantly that power as word ephesians 1:19 the power is in us but i need to switch on how by praying in tongues by confessing the scripture by releasing the faithful words being spiritually minded our authority is even greater than adam and eve they only had that authority over the earth but 
it is given that that authority when we see uh, for above all Ephesians chapter one nine one twenty one for above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come. Every God, the authority, Jesus Christ has authority. When we see Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, 9, we can see everything bows to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, heaven and earth. The authority was Adam and Eve was given only on earth. But when we abide in God, God abides in us. The authority in his name, everything shall bound to his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Two nine. About uh, before God has ex had a highly exalted Him and given Him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus Christ every knee bow. The things in the heaven, the things in the earth, the things under the earth. Our authority in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ in us, when I'm using in the name of Jesus Christ, I have the same authority. All, we are much more greater than Adam and Eve. They, they only had authority over the earth, but we have authority on earth, in heaven and in hell. We have Jesus Christ in us. That name of Jesus, when we say in name of Jesus Christ, at the moment, when I say in name of Jesus Christ, you are set free. Every day should bow his knee to the name of Jesus Christ. We are much more precious than Adam and Eve. So how will I establish, submit yourself to God? This is the devil and he will flee away from you. James chapter 4, 7. Resist means actively fight against. It is God's responsibility. It is not God's responsibility to resist. It is my responsibility. James chapter? James chapter 4, 7. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil in free from you. James 4, 7. Resist. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil in faith. It is not said God will resist or God will take responsibility. That responsibility is given to you and me. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist means actively fight against. We must do this ourselves, we need to take this name and we need to cast the schemes of the wicked. We, use, we should use the name of Jesus Christ, which has the power. At the moment I use the name Jesus Christ, everything shall bow its knee to the name of Christ. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but God has come to give life in abundance. Many times, many a times we have this attitude that uh, I had before being born again. I never used to believe the devil is there and all. I had. Uh, so my mindset before being born again was sickness is due to some physical ailment, something like that. We, I didn't have the thought that sickness is because sickness is from evil because of human fallen nature. Sickness is like a thief. It is from the devil to steal, kill, and destroy us. We didn't have that knowledge. I didn't have that knowledge. But now we know we are not supposed to tolerate any type of sickness or disease. We cannot say for the glory of God. We cannot say God is giving me a lesson. Through the sickness, I'm learning patience. I'm learning much about God. No. When Satan comes, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If sickness is there, means it is to steal, kill, and destroy us. 
that is why when we see a sick person we need to use the name in the name of jesus christ i command you spirit of infirmity get out of his body the name has so much power when we release with the faith filled words when we release it we can see that word being manifested that sickness bows its at the its kneel down it will flee from us the person is set free from any type of sickness or disease praise god jesus this is not only came and took our sickness sin and he paid the price he gave us the authority to use his name he gave us the authority to release the power in that word we need to speak we need to open our mouth and speak god's promises when we speak the faith when we speak the words power is released always abide in the vine always uh, always abide in god's word god's god's word always pray in tongues have the relationship with god i should be very conscious that it is not me it is not my performance it is only god humble should not allow pride to take control over me thank you jesus thank you father jesus wants us to enjoy life fear and sickness prevent that god does not send sickness we do not have to tolerate it most of the religious mindset is that i need my mother used to say why are why people are not tolerating a small sickness why can't they sacrifice for god my mother used to say these words in tamil she said protocol with the protocol some the words she used to say means uh, with that pain with that suffering you should always rejoice and be in god she never thought us to take authority over sickness then if the sickness is from god why do we go why why you need to go to hospital why you need to pray it is god's it is yeah, it is uh, god who wanted you to be sick god wants to teach you a lesson god wants to take you, teach you patience then why we need to go to hospitals let us be enjoy with the sickness sickness sin poverty curse was due to fallen nature human fallen nature this earth was cursed everything was cursed but god came jesus christ came destroy the works of the enemy he took the authority back now the authority in his name everything shall bow philippians chapter 2 9 when we saw everything will need will be nailed down will bow its knee in the name of jesus christ to the name of jesus christ so we have that authority in us we have that power in us we are no longer beggars begging for god to heal us we are believers we need to release that faith will burst to see god's anointing thank you jesus thank you father and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to glory God the Father Jesus Christ wants us to enjoy life he does not wants us to be with sickness with fear especially with sickness and say it is for the glory of God i'm carrying this cross also they all also say i'm carrying this cross jesus said to carry the cross and come behind so i'm carrying the sickness i'm carrying this cross most of the time we think that carrying the cross is carrying a burden carrying uh, carrying the sorrow carrying the pain carrying the sickness carrying the loneliness carrying something us of the kingdom of darkness and say are saying that we are carrying the cross and coming behind jesus christ no carry the cross is to deny myself to crucify myself my nature my old nature my flesh nature on the cross and allow jesus christ to live when that happens you can see manifestation you can see sickness being healed satan will be tremble when 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 he sees our relationship is very strong he can sense christ in us the moment you lay hand it cannot stand it the sickness will flee away 
the one who was the, the person who is uh, under demonic attack he will be set free from captives the blind is in sight the authority that is in you the authority in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus in this in this situation in this pandemic most of the people whoever i see those who are not knowing the word fear has gripped them fear is a evil spirit unknowingly it is ignorant today today the world itself is under fear satan is taking that it taking us in role and the, the the sickness is being increased why fear is being fear is being injected through media through newspaper through fellowship through makers through doctors fear is being inserted in each and every person and that is how the person is is, is losing its ability to fight back sickness the immune systems are being dropped down when fear enters not able to be looking at the news looking at watching at the media looking at the scarcity of oxygen scarcity of vaccine fear dripping into the minds of the people satan taking control over us through fear god did not give us the spirit of fear fear is a spirit it is not an emotion it is not a feeling it is the evil spirit it is the weapon used by the kingdom of darkness to destroy us when a person really abides in in the in god when the vine, when the branch abides in the true vine he can see life even if physical death that it seems to be is being he is being brutalized he is being stoned to death even if they take my life they won't give importance to their life to their own life why they know that it is not i who live it is christ who lives in me they deny themselves that is known to carry the cross and come behind carry the cross means not carrying the sickness carrying the burden carrying sorrow and no it is not at all but we may thought i was thought like that from my childhood to carry the cross we were not thought to take authority we were thought to go with that go live with that sickness learn to live with that sickness we were thought that from to learn to live with that sickness learn to live with the poverty learn to live with rejection no i should not tolerate i should take authority in the name of jesus i should not consider it i should not consider the evil circumstances in my life my focus when it is on god that is why when the branch abides in the true vine when my focus is on on the god when i am praying in thanks when i am rejoicing when i am thanking god for all the goodness he has done cancelling my death penalty cancelling hell in my life and giving me life in abundance when my focus is in jesus christ when i pray in thanks just like paul paul is not so special than you and me we see some preachers we say joseph is so much anointed but for johnson is so much anointed to know it is they they build a relationship with god it is not that god is so partial that is he is giving his authority his power to only to some and is not giving the power and authority to others it is not god it is my own it is it is it is my it is it is i who stopping god from his anointing from his power through my through my wrong mindset that is why we need to meditate we need to renew our mind we need to focus on god's promises day and night to renew our mind means to remind ourselves you you are crucified with christ it is no longer you live it is christ who lives in you you have authority when you listen to any sickness anything against from god against to god's kingdom if fear if fear want to be injected in you immediately renew your mind the one who sent me is greater the germs viruses that touches my body dies instantly in jesus name i need to lay hand the sick if i go and lay hand the sick patient at the present moment nothing will harm me nothing will harm me no pandemic will harm me and use authority in the name of jesus Christ and rebuke the sickness rebuke the infirmity this happens only when a person abides in the true vine with the word of god meditate the word of god when you when we meditate the word has the capacity to cleanse us to renew our thought to help us to focus on the promises of god 
Faith also comes by hearing and hearing God's word. Grace is from God. My part is only to believe action corresponding to the message. That's all I need to do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this teaching. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us the power, the mighty power in Jesus' name. The power in God's name. The supply is already there in abundance. It is I who need to switch on. Thank you, Jesus. I need to focus on the promises. I need to give importance to God's word. I need to meditate on God's promises, not for, a, not for healing, but to develop that relationship with God. Going into his presence, spending my lonely time with God in tongues is to speak with God like a small baby in which speaks mother and father enjoys. Even a father, a mom also small, small words gives us joy when our baby starts to speak our language. The same way when I'm praying in tongues, God enjoys. And when we speak that language, when we speak the language, God's language, God enjoys each and every moment in our life. We don't know how to pray. We don't know how to release. We don't know what, what decision I need to take at this present situation, circumstance. I don't know how, but when I pray in tongues, God leads me. Holy Spirit guides me. He guides me. He's a partner. He is a partner with me. He's my counselor, he's my comforter, he's my strengthener, who stands near me, who's in me. Holy Spirit, the fullness of God is in me. When after praying in tongues, God will give me the wisdom how to speak, what to speak, how to speak loudly words to, to my elders, to my parents, to my siblings, how to spread that love through God's promises. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Our atmosphere changes, our house changes. We can see the presence of joy and peace in our family when we abide in Christ and Christ in us. When I abide with true wine, the branch is fruits. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this teaching. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Maybe I can stop the sharing. Yes. Oh, I need to stop the recording. Okay, I'll stop the recording.